My name is Mina Charloni and I'm a fifth grade teacher at the Cuniff Elementary School in Watertown, Massachusetts. I decided to build some wiki spaces around the adaptations theme with my class. There are two different kinds of adaptations, behavioral adaptations and physical adaptations. Behavioral adaptations are what an animal does, how it acts. Physical adaptations are a body part of an animal or body covering, like fur. I built my own website around the adaptations theme to begin with. As kids started to learn important facts about adaptations, I started to ask them to build pages on their own wiki space, which was part of my um, class website. Hi, I'm Tony Carlson. I'm the technology integration teacher here at Cunniff School. And the students have created a wiki project where they've put all different kinds of adaptation projects. We use free applications on the internet. Students did all the work themselves. They've created their work on applications. They've learned to embed on their own wiki, which they also created. The first thing I asked kids to do was to use an application called My Wild Self to build an avatar of themselves. By building their own avatar, they could start to put together their understanding of what behavioral adaptations were and also physical adaptations. Like I have um, butterfly wings and a lot of other people have like different animal adaptations and body parts. They started to use new applications. Um, among those applications were titled Animation-ish, which was a drawing tool where students um, used the concept of photosynthesis and they had to illustrate it using that. Another application that we used was Extra Normal, and in Extra Normal I asked the students to develop a character sketch with one or two characters where they would go and have a conversation about some of the concepts they had learned. Welcome to the Biome Weekly and today we have a special guest that will be talking to us about the Tega. Like if you type it into the script and you can see your whole script, you click action and like you can play it and then all you can see is them like in their set, like that frame right there. They're, they're usually going to talk to each other and say like what you wrote down in the script. Another assignment was using Google Earth to go and tag all of the animals that they were researching. We would see other people's animals, just not just ours. Students used podcasting as another resource. Tropical rainforests. Rainforests are very dense, warm, wet forests. Develop PowerPoint presentations and games using KiaWeb. And so by the time we were done, they had eight wiki pages on their own individual wiki space, which really showed a nice summary of everything they had learned throughout the semester. And in addition to that, they also had a written product because as we went and created the wiki spaces, I had also asked them to do some written research, which they collected in binder form. And so the whole project ended with parents coming in and just, we called it a technology and science showcase around the adaptations theme. And it was a very productive morning and a very engaging experience for the students to really share with parents their hot copy and also the technology that they had really found to be high interest and really worked creatively and critically with to show their mastery of concepts and skills. The most important thing they've learned is the curriculum about animal adaptations, which is a fifth grade part of their curriculum, but it's engaged them. I've been working with the students all year on this project and they are so hard at work showing all the things they learned and publishing what they've learned. Technology does not always come easily, so they have to look around and think and problem solve. If I could pick three words that describe this program assignment, uh, I would say fun, exciting, and informational.